Hi everyone, my name is Christine and you are watching The Bedazzled Buddhist. Today I wanted to give a follow-up about the um, book that I talked about in relation to the book club I want to start doing. And that book is A Thousand Books to Read Before You Die um, by James Mustick. I had shown the book in my last video, but I hadn't yet had a chance to go through it and show you um, some of the features of it to basically give you some of my thoughts. So the first thing I want to do is just tell you a little more about this book, because um, it's, it's actually really interesting. It's not only a list of books to read, but it's actually a great read in and of itself. Okay, let me put my glasses on. But before we get to the book, make sure to um, subscribe if you um, are enjoying this video and you want to see more and definitely give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. So the, the first thing I would just say about this is that all of the books are listed in alphabetical order by author's last name. And um, there's a thousand books listed, but there's actually 6,000 books that are referred to. For example, you know, if you like this, you might like this book or that book, whatever. So um, it's actually quite comprehensive. The second thing is, I think what's really interesting about this is that just like there are, you know, ranking videos for eyeshadow palettes or any sort of list. Um, this this is, in essence, a list by one person. And so it's actually, you know, for example, if somebody says, what are my top 10 eyeshadow palettes? And there's many videos like that. Or if I can only keep 10 palettes, what would they be? Um, well, this is the same. This is this individual's list of books that he would read but he makes the point which is true that anybody can have their own list and so there might be books in here that you agree with there might be books in here that you completely disagree with and you think why isn't this book in there so um i think the list is in and of itself a topic of conversation to see why he chose particular things and he definitely goes into detail with each book um it's not long. I'll show you an example. So I, I just randomly opened to this page here. So here's a book in the list called Journey to the End of Night by Luis Ferdinand Celine. It's the dark masterpiece at the dawn of black humor. So anyway, he will go through um, just a summary of the book very briefly and why he included it. Um, but that's interesting too. So I'm actually reading that and I find that quite enjoyable. So going through, I've been putting post-it notes on books that look interesting that I want to come back to and maybe um, read for myself. There are other books in here that I just like reading his summary, but I don't think I have any intention of reading the book and that's fine. This is, it's just a list, it's not uh, an assignment. <clears throat> but starting with A and just going through the book, just getting an idea of what's in here, is um, the book classic by Douglas Adams, which is A Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now this is a book that I have heard of um, many a time, but I really don't know anything about it. And as I read his summary of the book, I thought, oh, I absolutely want that to be the first book that I read um, in this series. So that is um, what we're going to do. So I bought this. This is, um, it's actually called, um, it's a five part trilogy. So obviously trilogy is three. It's a five part trilogy. So I bought the box set on Amazon. Um, it says this is the 42nd anniversary collection over 15 million copies sold so here it is it looks like um you know it's not a big book and this is um it's just over 200 pages i, I think it looks like you know 
if I just take my time, I can read this in a, a week or 10 days or something like that. So this is the first book that I'm going to read. Um, I'm really excited about it. Let me know if you have read this, uh, what you think about it, if there's something else that you will be reading. I certainly don't want this book club to be um, anything if somebody participates to feel like you have to read the book that I'm reading. I think the whole goal is just to support each other in reading for enjoyment and telling each other about our favorite books and our favorite stories. So one of the reasons I picked this out is it is not only a classic, but it's supposedly very funny. And I certainly love humor. It's one of the major things that drives me and all aspects of my life. So this is supposed to be a very funny book and I'm really looking forward to reading it. Um, other books, let me see, that I have a post-it note on. I have I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings by Maya Angelou um, with a post-it note. I have the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov. Um, I also really like science fiction, so that's not funny, but it's, um, I, I love it. And then I think this is a little bit of science fiction and humor together, so I really hope this lives up to my expectation. But, um, yeah, that's where we are so far. I will post another video when I am done reading this, and then I will tell you what I thought about it, and my plans for the next book that I am going to read. It's not necessarily what I have a post-it note on. The post-it note is just a marker for me to go back and find it. Um, but I really intend on with this book writing in it, you know, leaving notes, really marking it up. I think sometimes with books we're, we're a little too precious with them. We act like they're a little too precious and I think they're meant to be handled and touched and written in and put your thoughts in and whatnot. So that is definitely what I am going to do. Um, okay, I hope um, that encourages you to read a book of your own and maybe it will be this one. Maybe it'll be something else. Let me know what you're reading. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my god, I'm having trouble here. Um, I usually throw those away anyway.